let me, um, and you can disable attendee annotation if you don't want anyone else to draw on it. All right, let's click stop share for now and let's go into the breakout groups while um, all of you are still able to be with me. So the breakout groups is done, first of all, you need to enable breakout groups in your advanced settings. That's what a lot of people don't realize they have to do on Zoom. So when you, when you go to the settings and click on advanced features, click on enable advanced features, and you're in here, you have to go to your Zoom account here, whoops, go to your Zoom account, scroll down to in meeting advanced, right? Click on edit and allow breakout room. Okay, actually, I think this has been set by the admin, okay, for some reason. Okay, I'm usually able to uncheck it and check it. The file transfer is another interesting, uh, and those of you who are, who are here who can't see it, let me show you. I'm sharing just my Google Chrome screen now. Oh, the other thing that's interesting for screen sharing is you can share computer sound. By checking this box, and I'm just gonna share my Google Chrome window for now for, for those who are here. Click share screen. And so now the participants are just seeing my Google Chrome window. And you can tell because you see there's this green glow uh, over my Google Chrome window. So that's why as you as the screen sharer will know that that is the one being shared. And they're not able to see my desktop now. But sharing the screen, let me share, show you again, again. When you share with computer sound, okay, you can then share like a YouTube video or anyway, any computer sound that, com that you are able to hear, uh, the participants are now able to hear as well. So this is good if you want to do a professional presentation, you want to start with like an inspirational video, then queue up the video on your computer first. And then when you start the meeting, you share your screen, share just that browser window and click on play, maybe full screen uh, on that video and then click on play on the video. And then all the participants will be able to see the video and hear it as well. So um, uh, I'm not going to do that right now because I, wanna, I don't want this tutorial to go too long. And so I'm going to stop share for now and we're going to go into breakout groups. Uh, oh, I was going to, um, uh, sorry, one more thing. I want to make sure you see that when you do, um, I like the file transfer option being available as well. Uh, then click on save changes and that will now allow, next time you start the Zoom meeting, you'll be able to do a breakout room. So let's do a breakout room now. Let me show you how that works. Click on breakout room now that you, you have this. Again, you may need to restart your Zoom after you've done the meeting settings to be able to, to get the breakout room button. Click on breakout rooms and now, this is cool, you can, there are exactly six other people besides me. So I can, that's a great number actually because I can make two rooms, it says three participants per room. I can manually uh, put who with who or I can automatically have Zoom randomly pair, you know, Kim with Leslie, with Diane, or whatever the random pairing is. I noticed there's an interesting uh, phenomenon that when, whenever we do random pairings, there often are synchronicities moments that happen. Zoom has a brilliant way, I don't know, they don't have an algorithm, but there's some kind of random randomness, uh, synchronicity to happen. I usually do automatic. And if you, if you uh, increase the room size, you'll see that if you increase the room size, now it says two participants per room because there are three rooms. Four means there's one to two participants per room. And just to show you what that, what that does, I want to create breakout rooms now. And now you can see that, ah, oh, I, because I created four rooms, there is one room with only one person. Or no, two rooms, I'm sorry, with, with, with one person each, and other rooms have two. I can now move. I can even rename what the room is called, or I can now move people. I'm going to move Kim to, to breakout room three to be with Leslie there. And then let's go and, and um, Oh, there's a there's a, um, um, there's a tip here. Before you open the room, unmute everybody so that they don't have to look for where the mute button is. And I also another tip is to tell people, all right, everyone, we're going to go into breakout rooms, and when you start sharing, go by alphabetical first name. So Diane will speak before Rosalie, and each person has four minutes. So you want you want to give, and I I've, I've asked Zoom and everybody watching this YouTube video, ask Zoom. To, to make a timer option for each breakout room that the admin can control. That would be really helpful. And Zoom says they're thinking about it. So, um, all right, let's go and click. Uh, first, let's unmute everyone uh, automatically by clicking unmute all. Let me get this uh, to the side. Unmute all. All right, everyone's unmuted now. Now I'm going to click open all rooms. And now what they're seeing is they're seeing something in the middle of their Zoom that says join breakout room. So now as people join, you'll see people disappear. Go ahead, everyone, join the breakout rooms. Okay, and uh, on some internet connections, it takes you know it takes longer for some people to join the breakout room. But now, everyone's in the breakout room. The admin can go take a break, <laughs> or the admin can join any breakout room to see how it's going. 
So I'm going to go and, and even during the breakout room, you can still move people. For example, sometimes I find that some people are really shy. I'm in a big webinar. Some people don't want to join breakouts. And so like, you know, one person might be by themselves. The others will have a gray bubble. It says not joined. And so if one person's by themselves, I usually move them to another room. That's how I do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and join a room with, um, let's see, with uh, Kim and Leslie. I'm going to pick join room. Okay, it says yes. And so now, hello, hi there. <laughs> Welcome. I just joined the room just to show everyone what that looks like. And, uh, and at this point, I'm going to um, leave the breakout room and you guys can chat amongst yourselves. In the side of the breakout room, there is a chat that just Leslie, if I click on the chat, Actually, Leslie, you guys are able to chat amongst yourselves, and that chat doesn't go into the main chat. Ex except when I that ad when the admin is there, the chat button. I think. Oh, I think this is uh, for everybody, isn't it? That's for everybody. Are you seeing the chat that I just put through? Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. I didn't know that. So I'm gonna leave the breakout room, let you guys have fun, and then I'm gonna close the room soon. That's brilliant. Thanks, Leslie. Okay, and then return to the main room. Okay, so now I'm in the main room, um, going back there. And then uh, let's see if Leslie's, by the way, I didn't show you one thing. You can drag, you can click and drag the bottom corners of the Zoom window to be able to resize it. Okay, so you can, that way it's easier to resize. You can move, I can move this around by clicking on the header, the heading, uh, or is, uh, the header there. Uh, click and drag that. Okay, let's see if um, the chat is happening so yeah so while the breakout people are in there I'm not able to see their private chats so that's one of the useful things about about the breakouts they able to just have their own conversation truly okay now one of the cool things about the breakout um, is that uh, I am able to broadcast a message to everyone okay so I can click on broadcast message and what that shows up it shows up at the top it shows up not as a chat message but it shows up as a more of an announcement at the top of their video it's like okay um, alright everyone um, one minute left okay and then click broadcast and so even though you can't see it it is being broadcasted and I'll ask them when they come back and so when you click on close all rooms they it'll say all breakout rooms closed in 59 you know there will be a countdown and they can stay in the breakout room as long as they want until they get automatically picked out after this minute or they can they can manually choose to leave the room and uh, there you go Kelsey wonderful you manually manually came back so thanks for helping me test that and Michelle great and so you can see that they're that they're no longer in the breakout room as you can see up here and uh, so you don't see me okay that's interesting there I Okay, so you, you have to just move the, the videos around or whatever, or I can, that's, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that, because that should probably spotlight my own video when people come back so that they know that they're in the main room. Okay, so um, let's see, one more thing I want to talk to you about on this recording, I'm trying to remember what it is, let me look at my notes here. Um, no, actually, I think, I think we've covered everything.